Oh, righty, boys. We are back. We got new ranked, new programs, new team affinity, new gosh diggly darn near everything. Will the cards be good? Some will be. Will, some, will cards be bad? Probably. Will there be unnecessary packs that have really good cards in them? You bet you. What? Nevertheless, let's jump into it. It's going to be a long one, so let's just try to get this thing out. And, and also, this is a shark map, so hopefully we'll get to really get on them and all that stuff. So let's jump into this and uh, get her going, because it's going to be a long one, baby. <laughs> okay, let's start off with the packs here, because I think there's going to be a lot to go on here. Get your two free millionaire packs. We're sending updated. Okay, so let's get our two millionaire packs. We get some stubs. Let's take a look at our uh, season award cards here. The first 99 out of it will be good old Michael King. Secret Force, Circle Change, Slurp, and a Slider. Pretty good card. Uh, last week, I did hold on to my pack so I could get some 99. I might actually hold on to it for another second week, depending on how this thing looks. But if hopefully you guys are the same. I didn't say anything. I think I did on Tuesday. If I did, that's my fault. But not too bad. I think this card's pretty... Uh, pretty good. The other one is Xavier Edwards. I think this is for hidden for the cycle. 125 contact wise, 98, 77 power versus right and left. Can play short, second, and th center center field. I mean, not too shabby. I wish his power was a little higher, but I think he fits the Corbin boost, so that's good. I think. Next up, we get one of these traded cards. So yeah, if you I the, so far, it kind of looks like you might want to hold on to them packs for a, for a couple of weeks. Uh, 101, 105 for right here against this Jazz, and then 105, 78 against left. He can play second, third, short, right, left, and center. So sell that card for a trade. This is the second card they did this for. This is a Randy card, I think, in the program. Next up, Josh Bell, who got TFA'd for his thousandth MLB hit. He gets a card 105 against right, 97, 104 against left. Uh, New Arizona Diamondback. So he fits. I don't even think he even fits any boost, to be honest with you. But 98. And then we got a River Ryan for impressive. I like how it just says impressive pitching performance. Like, we can't just be like, hey, he did this. Whatever. War Team Slider, Curveball, Circle Change, and a Sinker. He's uh, 98. So again, I'm going to keep reiterating. Hold on to them packs, I think, another week. So the lowest card in here you're going to get is 98. I. I think we should be holding on to him at this point because last week's, I think we're still 97s. So in here you have a, these are the two rares and then the lowest you're going to get is a 98. So, and they're all pretty decent cards. I say, hold on to it another week and you just pull three of them. That's my opinion. Personally, don't uh, take, don't take it. Don't, you know, do what you want. Next up in the headliner is rap Dixon. He's getting a 99. He can play everywhere. 117, 84. 85 114 100 speedy boy uh he was his other card is free it's an 85 so this is definitely an improvement the headliner hasn't changed but i did see there's some other stuff i don't there there i well, i have no idea what's going on here so that's the shop stuff let's see let's go to uh let's go to ranked let's knock out ranked the rank program and sort of see what we got here so it looks like there is a Josh Gibson card here. Let's. I did not want to hit play. <laughs> Oops. Come, on. Come on. Press O to go back. All right, there we go. Uh, let's go to ranked here. Let's do this. Let's see what the program is. I think they already said what the card was. It is a 99 Adam Dunn. So here's the 99 Adam Dunn. 107, 125, 103, 117 can play left, right, and first. I don't think he fits any boost, unfortunately, that I can think of off the top of my head. I think he fits. No, that's 2010. I mean, is Stanton 2010s or 20? I have no idea. Um, not too bad. Not too bad of a card there. The World Series award programs. Let's start with the pitcher, because I think Josh Gibson might actually be discussing. 99, Johan Santana. Four seam circle change slider sinker cutter. Uh, not too bad. I think Johan's decent enough. Uh, it, would I pick the pitcher or Josh Gibson? I really don't. I don't think this card is going to be bad by any stretch of the imagination. I think fastball working off the changeup is good enough and sinker slide, sinker cutter. I think tunneling might be really good with this card, but again, we'll kind of see. We'll wait till people get him. Like, what's Josh Gibson going to look like? Yeah, I think Josh Gibson is the way to go. 1 to 106, 125, 110, 125. He's a primary catcher. can play both quarters and all the outfield spots. Decent enough speed. Doesn't really fit any boost that I can think of. I think there's. He doesn't even fit. There's no. What is this? John Jinkin? I don't think there's even a Jim Kim. 
uh, thing. Those, I think Josh Gibson's going to be the primary one people are going to get, personally. So let's go into the program. Uh, we'll do Team Affinity last. Let's get through uh, this right here. So the first thing up, we got Lance Lynn uh, for his 2,000 strikeout. So we got a four-seam cutter, sinker, slider, curve, circle change. Some people really like Lance Lynn's cards. I think this one being a 97, he might get a little bit of play, which is always, I think, good, giving people more cards to play with. So if you're in a pinch or you see pitching, like I think all of us do, he might he might fit the build. Uh, next up will be Nacho Alvarez Jr. He made his debut here. I, I believe Braves number five overall prospect blocks first hit, 118, 74, 101, 66. And play third, second, and short. He is a young boy. Um, but, I mean, again, 97, I think it'll play. He'll help the Braves team team. The other traded card here, Randy or Rosarena, 9485 max versus left, could play left, center, and right. He's a 97, going from Seattle or going from Tampa to Seattle. I think the card art's cool. I don't know if this is actually a card that was made by Tops or the show made it. I think the card art's really cool. Uh, and then when we get it all, you're going to be getting Tyler Fitzgerald, who win an absolute effing tear. Uh, Shorts. He's a shortstop. He can play first, second, third, and all the outfield spots. So basically, all the infield and all the outfield minus catcher. 110, 125, 109, 101. He's got great defense, speedy boy. He might actually be making somebody starting infield, which is pretty good. And with the boost for Max Muncy, could even be even better. And then, again, the season two thing. So, again, I'm going to probably say if you've been saving for the last two weeks, probably a good idea because now we're entering that part where it's going to be really high in cards. So... Again, you're, like I said, I got to look, but I want to say last week's, we'll double check. I want to say they were still 97s. And then last but not least, once you get it all, you get this no-hitter Dylan Cease card. I think the card that's not bad. Not bad. Four seam slider, knuckle curve slur when this change up. He's got max hit per nine, 101K per nine. I, I like Dylan Cease cards personally, so I think this card will be pretty good. And, yeah. Not too shabby. I'm glad they gave it, they, they gave it something different. So then, of course, we get the moments, all that fun stuff. You get all that. Again, best way to do this, I say, just make a team of Tops Now cards because you'll probably run into these more than likely and kind of go from there. So let me jump back to last week. Let's see. I want to let's just see. Do I think you should just hold it? Let's see. 299s, 96, 96, 96. I would say hold it because there are 299s. You're most likely to get 96. And right now they've jumped up to two overall. So hold on to your pack for another week. I don't think you're going to be missing much personally all right now let's get into the meat and potatoes the thing that's going to take us the absolute longest here team good old team affinity i don't know if it's going to be as quick as it was last time uh we can double let's just check that here so we got how many months three thousand what's the first card we need is it one it's at 60 60 how fast are we get into 60 well it looks like they decided to bring it back to where we were so it looks like this is going to be 12. So yeah, these moments will get you the, the unlockable here. Are the stat missions any? Is it kind of the same thing? Uh, doesn't look like it. General missions. You know what? They went back to the slow burn. I don't know why they did that. This seems like a shame, personally, to me. Because last time... You did the moments, and you could get them fairly quick. I don't know why that changed, because the also like these missions where they were twelve, I thought were pretty snazzy because it got you got the one card fairly quickly just by doing these. I don't understand why they decided to do to get rid of it. I I don't understand. That seemed like such a good idea, and then we throw it in the garbage. Look, I'm going to be keep it a buck 10 here. I understand that these things are meant to be longer form passive content. But what's the big deal if you get one card really quickly? Why did we get one card really quick? Why? Because it was all star content and it was viable. Sure. But ultimately, when you're putting cards like this, I don't see an issue by limiting the grind so that people can play the game and get the cards they want for their team. There is no shame in that. The simple fact of the matter is it probably worked better for most people because it allowed them to get their card for their team and then continue grinding. I don't understand why we went back to the formula that we had for season one where people or see the, the first one where people might not even really finish it. 
I don't get this backtracking. I, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> did you get really hurt? Like, did the idea of college football scare you? Because now you backtracked it to this, where all you're going to get out of this is yippee, you get the unlockable. SDS, I, I'm going to keep it a buck ten with you. If you had left it the way season two's Team Infinity was, I would. It would be great because if the biggest thing you have, the biggest thing people are going to do is cool. They get one really easy. What's the harm if they get Cal Ripken, David Ortiz, or one of these guys early, really quick in 10, 15 minutes? There's not a problem with that. Then you could make it a little bit difficult. But I do think giving them one card fairly fast isn't a problem. I'm, I'm done ranting. Let's just jump into it. Are these cards even worth it? Let's see. Kyle Rivkin can play short and uh, short and third, 116, 90, 125, 109. I think this feels like just a regular Kyle Rivkin card, and I sort of have the feeling this is where it's going to be. <laughs> All right. L let's see. If David Ortiz has max power, I think we'll be in a go. Okay. 120 versus right, 101, 110 versus left is going to have max clutch. DA, I, I don't know why they didn't make him a DH. He's a DH, full clutch. He's probably going to make some teams. Um, 99 Bernie. One tw max contact in the 93 98 max clutch. He can play center, right, and left. Decent field, decent arm. So, again, I okay, these cards look fairly good. I don't know why they just they did what they did. I'm baffled. Carlos Pena, 104, 125, 96, 120. Clutch of 104. Not too shabby. He can play first, all that stuff. And last but not least, Carlos Delgado, max versus right, 110, 85 versus left. Max clutch, max discipline. So you can play catcher and left. Again, I'm going to just hammer this point. I don't know why they went back to where they were, where it's going to be the grinds to 60. I liked it last time where it was a little bit more manageable because now you're... I, You know what? I'm going to be completely honest. If people said I'm not doing CC affinity, I don't think I would blame them. All right, let's take a look at the NL here. So again, more unlockables. We're all excited. Let's take a look at the what we got here. So Greg Maddox. Finger, circle change, cutter, four seam, and a curveball. He's gonna. I I feel like every great man is the same. If you like him, you like him. If you don't, you don't. Um, I personally think he's okay. He's in stamina. Good hit per nine. He's just he's just low. Mike Lowell. I don't think I've ever used the good Mike Lowell. 104, 1, 105, 116, 125. I could play third only. Good field lead. I mean, not too bad for a Mike Lowell card. I think I I don't even know what to tell you. Tom Seaver. Four seam slider, sinker, curve, and a changeup. 117 stamina. Hit per nine is 105. Uh, K per nine is 103. I mean, usually. I mean, I, I don't usually have a problem. I, I'm intrigued by John Cruck. John Cruck, 125, 86, 101, 87. All right, it's a little goofy. Uh, can play first and all the outfield spots with this mullet. <laughs> hey, man, I'm here for it. I like it. I like it. Uh, Tim Raines, 1, 125, 73, 112, 92, max speed. He's, you, you know what he's going to get. He's going to be a speedy little Bella. Not too bad. I think the best card, I don't even know what the best card is. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm a little bummed at how they set this up. All right, let's take a look at the central here. Again, more unlockables. Does anyone care? Uh, oh, I should have looked. I look, Oh, wow, there's nothing. You should, there's a vault pack where this was last time, and that's not there. That's a bummer and a half. All right, we're taking steps back today. Good job, SDS. Ryan Sandberg, 106, 100, 115, 118 versus left. And play second, short, and third. Johnny Bench, I don't like Johnny Bench cards. 97, 125, 108, 10, or 197, 107, 90, 108, 125, golly. He can play catcher, both corner infields at all outfield spots. He's he is what he is. <laughs> if you like him, get on you. Ryan Baron, one twelve ninety three max versus left can play left first and third in all the outfield spots. I don't necessarily play him. I again variety is a spice of life. Maybe you find a spot for this car if you want to spice things up. Ralph Kiner, I can't play defense. Wow, they gave him gold defense. Holy hell. Uh, 109, 125, 125, 112. He's usually a DH card. I don't necessarily put him in the field, but if you're feeling spicy, go nuts. And then last but not least, Orlando Cepeda, 119, 85, 125, 107. Can play first, third, and both corner outfield spots. I mean... This way, I'm not trying to be neutral about this, about this, but it just feels like a lot of them just haven't wowed me, and kind of not like last. I don't know. 
Mini Minosa, a card that's going to have high contact. 125, 94, 112, 80. Get play left, third, center, and right. Pretty speedy. Uh, slappy. I think he'll have enough to sort of make things go. Larry Doby, uh, 114, 112, 104, 108. Can play all the outfield spots. Decent, decent fielding. Not too shabby. You've seen where seen. Seen better, seen worse. Uh, Tony, I run the players. Organ players, Eugene Clark, 109, 104, 125, 106. Can only play first. Decent numbers. Not too shabby. Probably a better one of the better Tony Clark cards we've had in the couple years we've had him. So if you're a Tigers fan, there you go. Johnny Damon, one max contact both sides, 87, 85 with this clutch being 125. So he's gonna he's decent enough to be like a two hole maybe leadoff hitter. Decent enough speed. His arm is made of is a wet pool noodle, but keep that in mind. Tony Oliva, 125, 107, 108, 82. Clutch is 125. He can play all the outfield spots for the Twinkies. All right, move on to the AL West. Let's see what we got here. I, what are, Just throwback logos? Okay. All right, AL West time. Let's take a look. Roy Oswald, four-seam sinker, curve, slider, changeup. 111 stamina, 110, 100 hit per nine, 101K per nine pitching clutch is 104. I mean, I think Royal Swaltz are kind of un are decent cards. Tory Hunter, uh, 108, 99, 125, 113. He has diving field and decent enough arm. can play center, right and left. I mean, I like the Angels version of Tory. It'll make the Angels thing seem a little bit better. Rally, rally fingers, sinker, slider, fork ball, and a, and a four seam. Third, decent closer, Raleigh always is. So we'll replace the 95. You're still using the 95. So that'll help there. Uh, Voldemort, a.k.a. Raul Abanez, 125, 121, 98, 104. Uh, got decent enough fielding to be out there unless you can play first and right. Again, not too shabby. And last but not least, Michael Young, max contact versus max contact, 107 power versus right, 197 versus left, clutch 125. Can play short, second, and third. Uh, I would say not, not not a bad card. Some of those cards aren't actually as bad. I think they're a little bit less balanced, but again, I, I, I think it's just a lot of like it's the repeat. It's the same thing we started with. Steve Finley for the Diamondbacks, 113, 104, 104, 106. Clutch is 111. Decent speed, good enough fielding to patrol out there in center field, I think. So, not that bad. Matt Holiday, 125, 104, 118, 102. His clutch is 122, so it's not really going to matter a whole lot. Could play left, first, and right. Good, Decent enough fielding, decent enough harm. I think he'll be fine out there. His reaction's good enough, so not too bad. A lot of these cards sort of fit that. Duke Snyder, max versus right, 109, 97 versus left. He can play center, right, and left. We all know what Duke Snyder can do. Decent card, I think, usually. Not too shabby. Trevor Hoffman, he could he go in the pen? I think so. Circle change, four seam cutter, slider, and a curve. I, we all know what Trevor Hoffman's going to do. And then last but not least, new legend, Rich Aurelia, 120, 101, 125, 117. Is he better than the Ferguson? Not really. But again, it's a 99. He's new. He's a new legend. At least they were, they're kind of racking it up. But that's all the team's any stuff. Again, a little disappointed. So let me know. Was this disappointing? Did you, I think season two is great. I think see, that that's how the formula should have been going forward. But I digress. All right, let's jump in. So here's special collection season two awards. You can get the Do Brenton Doyle. Uh, there's his numbers. Center fielder for the Rockies. For about a month, he led the league in homers, RBIs, and WRC+. Plus. So his contact is 109, 120 versus right, left, 116, 113. Coach is 125, max speed, max fielding. He's probably going to be most people's center fielder. So you can, if you have Jaron Durant, move Jaron Durant over. I mean, heck, you can move this guy over to right. He's not going to miss a beat. So I think good card. And again, um, just collect eight, you're going to get him. So I think we're entering the portion where we're going to – we have, what, four weeks, three or four weeks left? Do we have three weeks left? I, that just dawned on me. I think we have three weeks left. Wow, they really screwed the pooch on that front. Good, good lord, way to go, guys! All right, let's talk about this. So this is, this is, uh, you got three weeks to complete this. Good luck. So starting off, you get a choice pack. You get the draft choice pack, uh, home run derby pack for ten, fifteen. You get an all star pack. At twenty, you get Max Scherzer ninety nine one. Four seam slider, circle change, slurve, and a cutter. 109 stamina, hit per nine, 111, K for nine, 108. 
Not too shabby there. Good card. You get a home stretch pack number four, which was the fancy card arts. And then if you get when you get all 30, you hit this John Carl stand. Why didn't they just max him out? 111, 125, and then 125 versus left can play right, left, and center. Pretty freaking good card. Now I made my thumb note for it, so I gave a thumbs up. I definitely wouldn't give a thumbs up here. I think this is absolutely stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna end this with a rant, aren't I? The reason why I think it's stupid is there's three weeks. You got this week week nine and then week 10 and then i think are there is it i think i i hope i'm wrong wait we can look let's look at the dates here can i look at the can we see the dates here for this uh details okay let's see so let's take a gander here okay so season two goes through august 29th which is today is the second so you have one, two, you have, so in terms of Fridays, yeah, you have three weeks. So the 29th is a Thursday. So you have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. You have 27 days to finish Team of Fitting. Now, are people going to do it? Absolutely effing not. I think, I'm going to say it. I think them backing, pulling back that really quick way to get the first card is going to deter a lot of people. SDS, I implore you, I beg you, when you do things that make life easy and you instantly say, no, that was a one-time thing, I think you deserve any criticism, all criticism you're going to get from the community because that move was absolutely dumb. You're giving the players a lot one week less to get this car these cards i'm going to be upfront and completely and utterly honest with you i don't think people are going to want to do that nor should they you're giving them three weeks to do this the 29th we're going to reset what part of this do you not understand when it comes to how these things are laid out i don't get it i will never understand it and i hope to god that in three weeks, when I have, when we're covering season three of this, that we do not reset back to 89s. And I have a feeling that's going to happen. And you're going to get criticized again. It is amazing and truly troubling how quickly good nature with SDS and your company can completely and utterly go from banger job, banger job, banger job to absolutely unequivocally ruining it because you can't keep a good thing going you got three weeks i don't know how many people are going to be wanting to do this grind for three weeks to get john carlo when they're probably not going to use him or get a chance to use him before it's done that is absolutely unequivocally absurd you should be, and I mean this literally, absolutely appalled and ashamed of yourself for wanting to do that. Unless there's, you're going to have something where they can grind this faster, a lot of people won't do it. And you have no one to put this finger on or point it at other than yourselves. And I know it's not necessarily you guys in the studio. It's probably Sony who's doing it. But this is unequivocally and completely and utterly stupid. It's a shorter time span to get these cards. And you got three weeks to use them. You're telling people to grind this thing nonstop. And I'm going to tell you, they're not going to do it. They're absolutely not going to do it. But nevertheless, I digress. I, I digress. <laughs> All right, I sort of shared my opinion. I think they kind of botched this thing. It's one less week. You got basic. You don't. You you kind of have full four weeks. But let's be truthful and honest here. I don't think when when that Monday hits. So when the nineteenth ultimately or the twenty sixth, the end of the month's gonna hit. I think people are gonna be done. I think people will be done around the twenty third with it. Because they're not gonna be able to use the cart. And I think that's such a huge um, and utter problem that they still haven't addressed. We'll see what happens as this thing goes along. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think it was a good idea for how they did this, how they're implementing it? I, I, I stand by it. I think they kind of lost the plot again. And that's a problem. It's an absolute problem. But we'll see what happens, I guess, as we go along. SDS, you need to fix this. You, you can't hand the player side. That's a very, very good thing about a month ago and then pull it back and be like, we're going back to it in technically a shorter amount of time. I think this problem needs to be fixed. 
and we need easier ways to do this because I don't think anyone's going to be doing it. But again, that's just my opinion. Let me know yours down below. Like it if you like it. Dislike it. Dislike it. My name's Vex, and I am out. Thank <laughs> you.